Hello everyone. Um, some people were asking about the Octree used in my other video, so I've made a little demo here where you can try it out online. And you can also download the source and have a play around if you want. Uh, so I put the links both in the description. So yeah, as you can see here, it's um, a live Octree implementation. So you can move things around and it should rebuild the Octree nodes. Um, you can see the purple lines are the subdivisions of where all the nodes are being built. So if I build the whole lot in one place, it'll get a bit more complex over there. If you have one out by itself, it's just floating around. Um, so yeah, basically you can add objects by holding control and clicking, or you can delete them by just pressing delete when they're selected. Um, and that's pretty much it. I needed to do it originally because I was having a bit of trouble um, with some of the physics things in Unity. I was needing to do multiple uh, casts and bounding box movements inside one frame and uh, some funny things were happening. So I made this so I could have a bit more control over it. But um, I never really needed to optimize it much for my needs. So you might find you can fix it up a bit. Um, it should work for um, objects without physics bounds as well, it just use the rendering bounds the, of the attached renderer of the game object or yeah, if you put a physics um, like a collider on there it will use the bounds of that to generate the bounding box and then you can fiddle around in the code with a few things like um, the kind of the resolution of the octree so you can see here um, the boxes get down to about the subdivisions get down to about the same size as the boxes but you can go smaller. I think there's six levels here but yeah you can do way more. It'll just be a bit run a bit slower. So that's it. Enjoy. <laughs>